What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we're going to look at the Paul Statsny trade, which occurred back on March 8th, 2004. Now this trade was between the Colorado Avalanche and the Arizona Coyotes, and it saw Colorado get three assets in exchange for two. One of the assets that Arizona got was previously discussed in the Eric Lindros part two video. And I decided that, you know what, rather than mention Paul Stastny in that trade, he deserved his own trade breakdown. So without further ado, let's start by discussing what the Colorado Avalanche received. So the first of their three assets was a 2005 second round pick. This would become the 44th overall selection. With that, they would pick center Paul Stastny. Now Stastny was drafted by the team his father, Peter, had played for in the 1980s when they were still the Quebec Nordiques. Now as a rookie, he scored a career-high 28 goals to go with 50 assists. He would finish second in Calder voting that year to Evgeny Malkin. Now, his second year, pressure got to him a little bit, and he regressed slightly. He also did deal with some injury issues that year, and he actually had to have his appendix removed. All said and done, he had 24 goals to go with 47 assists. Now, two separate injuries, a broken forearm and a broken foot, would limit him to 45 games in the 08-09 season, where he would still score 11 goals with 25 assists. Now, the 09-2010 season saw him break out as he had a career-high 79 points off of 20 goals and 59 assists. Now, he had a pair of solid seasons, recording 57 points in the 10-11 season and 53 points in the 11-12 season. And then the lockout short in 2012-13 season saw Colorado struggle slightly. And Statsny, he was okay. He wasn't great. He provided only 24 points that year. Now, in the 13-14 season, he provided 25 goals to go with 35 assists, but then he would walk as a free agent. His time in Colorado was pretty good, and he was a two-time All-Star. Now, they also got two more assets in this trade. The first we'll look at is center Chris Gratton. Gratton had a pair of goals and a single assist over 13 games, but in the playoffs, he really struggled. He did not provide a single point in 11 games before the team was eliminated, and he would walk as a free agent. They also got defenseman Ossie Vanenen and uh, Vanenen. He was a decent defender for parts of three years. However, defensive stats were not rec recorded, so I'm relying on what other people say. He had two goals and 10 assists before leaving the team to go play in Sweden. So then we have the Arizona Coyotes. Now, the player in question that made this connects that connects this trade to the Eric Lindros trade is defenseman Keith Ballard. In Ballard, he had a career year as a rookie in the 05-06 campaign scoring career highs with, and goals with 8, assists with 31, points with 39, and penalty minutes with 99. He led all defensemen that year with three shorthanded goals. He had a decent second year, but he did miss some time with a broken hand. And he had a solid, solid defensive numbers, but in uh, his third year, his offensive numbers really just fell off a cliff. His defensive numbers were decent, though. Now, he ends up getting traded away, and we did discuss this in the Roberto Luongo trade, which will be linked in the description below. Now, they also got another defenseman in Derek Morris. In Morris, over parts of five seasons for the Coyotes, he was productive. He gave them 25 goals to go with 68 assists. He had solid defensive stats, specifically with blocks over hits. Now, defensive stats were not recorded over the first few years he was in Arizona. Thus, we will not be mentioning them. Now, he ends up getting traded to the New York Rangers in exchange for three assets. The first one is left wing Nigel Dawes, and Dawes would struggle with two assists over 12 games before he was waived. And then they also got defenseman Dmitry Kalinin, who had a goal with three assists over 15 games with decent defensive numbers before he left to go play in the KHL. Lastly, they got right wing Peter Prusha, and Prusha, he had two, a pair of goals with eight assists over 19 games, and then he had a decent 09-2010 season which saw him score 13 goals to go with 9 assists. However, the 10-11 season was not good as he had a single assist in 11 games before being demoted to the AHL, and then he would end up leaving to go play in the KHL. So, yeah, basically three guys that would all eventually go to the KHL as Dawes later did. So, now, last team we got to look at here is the New York Rangers, and they got defenseman Derek Morris. Morris, unfortunately for them, wasn't what they hoped for. They got 8 assists out of him over 18 games, he did record 32 blocks with 17 hits before he left the team as a free agent. But this was the Paul Statsny trade. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good rest of your day.